do to you? Hello there, my beautiful and handsome listeners and viewers. How are you today? How has your day been? Mine has been beautiful because I have got a beautiful mind. You are welcome to your reality talk show, Beautiful Mind. This is the show that talks about stigmas and discriminations and topics that some people generally see as a taboo and they do not like to talk about it publicly beautiful mind believes that everyone deserves love and respect regardless of your past your illness color education religion or even your sex orientation so you're welcome why don't you grab yourself a cup of tea hot chocolate water coffee soup whatsoever that makes you feel comfortable please sit down and come along with us and if you're coming back from work welcome home and well done for a good job that you've done today please grab your remote and go on your tv search for youtube and search for beautiful mind tv and you can find us there so you can watch us live and direct on your TV. And I want you to know that we want to hear and know where you are watching from. So please do not leave today's show with just myself and my beautiful guest. We want to hear from you. Today, you can contact us on 079-603-91983 or on all our social platform. Please, we want to hear your views on today's topic. So please, Call us, give us a call and let us know what you think about today's topic. And the topic for today is the burden of a failed marriage. Yes, I said it. You know, on Beautiful Mind, we talk about different things and everything. So we do not put anything under the carpet. And for the very first time on Beautiful Mind, I have got this beautiful lady, woman of God. I admire her so much. I love her courage. I love everything about her, her personality. And God has made it possible for her to come and bless us on today's show. I know her and I know the majority of you do know her. But for the benefit of those people that are coming across her for the very first time, Oluwa Tose, can you please introduce yourself to my viewers and listeners? Right, I am Luness Oluwa Tose. Okay. And, um, <laughs> all right, so, um, all right, uh, I'm quite nervous. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm Lioness Oluwato Singh. I am a dental and healthcare professional. I am a child of God. I am a single mother of two, <laughs> two lions. Because when lioness gives birth, they give birth to lions, not cats. Well, they are called cats. <laughs> okay, so I've got two lions, and um, I'm a child of God. I'm a daughter of God. <laughs> I'm a son of God whatever that you call me and I, I i i am somebody who stands up for all categories of women and i just want to be you know you know identify with all kinds of women amen thank you thank you very much i can tell that she's so nervous but don't be what will i say don't be deceived by that uh nervousness because by the time she released the lion in her you will know that she is not just called a lioness she is truly the lion right thank you very much for joining us here today um lioness i, I, be, I believe you prefer me to call you lioness rather I than that, actually okay okay so i will stick with that my name is ade yinka ade Umi, for those of you that are coming across this show for the very first time and we are giving you something informative and educative and we are reaching out from the studios of beam tv and we are reaching out to all over the world i say that confidently every week because i know that 
we our view viewers that are there for us are always sharing our content so please help us share this video because a lot of people have been waiting for this week's episode of beautiful mind so please Help us share it. I know there are a lot of jargons and a lot of rubbish things on the, on all social media, but this today's show is something that you want to have on your platform because I believe it might be just one person who will be blessed on your wall by you sharing it. So please help us share this video. We're just going to go straight into today's topic. And the topic is a burden of a failed marriage. Right. Lioness, at what age did you wed your ex? All right. I, I, I wed the age of 33. Thank you. Thank you very much because that was so short and I want to take it gradually to get into the juicy part. So I believe at the age of 33, we assume, you know, the general assumption of people is that you understood what it means to be married. So maybe it's wrong for me to assume and, you know, other viewers as well. Will you say that you understood marriage before you got into it, um, Lioness? Um, I would say that I'm very much aware of what marriage is when when i got into it um but then it looks like i i missed some vital part of it so at my age you know for a woman or for a girl or for a young woman or a lady who is 33 you know she's very mm -hmm. much aware of the environment of the man or whoever that is that you want to put up with for the rest of your life so i am very much aware of what marriage looks like but again what happened at some point was that i missed some vital information i missed a, a you know a, a few things that i was supposed to put in place you know i missed i missed that thank you thank you very much i believe you can see that she's coming out of our shell b by b and it can help us to fully come out she has never shared this you know story anywhere else this is the first time she's actually coming out to share it so please help me make her feel welcome and loved by giving her some heart and sharing this video and encouraging her did you see forever you know when you fell in love with the love of your life at that time or what was your expectation in marriage lioness all right um <sighs> Let me say that I, I, I saw it forever, kind of like. But again, you know, I said in my last um, few statements that I missed some vital information, some things that I was supposed to put in place. I missed it. So I wasn't kind of like sure, but I thought, okay, I could, you know, drag it along. I thought I could, yeah things could get better along the way, you know. So that was where I said I missed a few things, but, you know, I, I still kind of like see a kind of a forever, you know, maybe via because of, maybe because of what people have said to me, maybe because of um, a few things that I think I see about him and da 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 da, -da like that. But I kind of like see, you know, I kind of like see, but, you know, it fizzles out because, you know, you're not holding on to the original thing, you know. So mm -hmm. I kind of like see it, but I wasn't, let me just say to you that I wasn't kind of like sure, you know. Mm -hmm. So that was why I said I missed a bit of things here and there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ellen Lioness. You know, during my pre-interview with you, you said you were expecting love because you never had to love yourself. And I really, really want you to please share what you meant by that, because I believe someone watching us or that will come across this video needs to hear what that meant. Lioness, can you hear me? I 
I can hear you, but can you hear me? I want to know if our viewers can hear. Maybe it's just from my hand. Can you hear, please? Lioness, can you hear me? Because I can't hear you. Hello? I can't hear you. I think we will have to go on a short break because I can't hear Lioness. Yes, thank you very much, Mommy Shon Dipolu said she can hear me, but I want to know if you can hear Lioness. Lioness, can you hear me? We're so sorry about that, but whilst we're waiting for Lioness to join us, I really want to, I'm not sure, can you hear me loud and clear because I can hear some echo from the video. I want to know that you can hear me clearly, please engage with me this afternoon. I really want to know if the volume is okay because I can hear some crack going on and I don't want that in the video. Please, I really need your thoughts on this question that has been on my mind, my mind ever since I heard the story of our guest today. And the, the question is, what or which do you see or do you count to be more important? Is it when you get married in the court? when you get married in the church or you do um, an, an engagement wedding or traditional wedding i want to know what you think which one do you think is important i really want to hear from you i want to know what you think please engage with us this afternoon Hello, I can see Grace Tom Lawyer. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. I want to hear from you. What do you think is really, really important before when you're saying, yes, I do to somebody? Is it the you getting married in the church, you know, or engagement, traditional wedding or going to court? What do you count to be the most important or the right way of getting married i really want to hear from you lioness please let me know if you're back in so right, we can um, continue the discussion i'm not sure i can see your video i can see you Can you see me? Can you hear me, Lioness? Um, I think I can see you briefly. Can Can you say something so I know that you can hear me? 
Right. I'm really sorry about this video this afternoon, but I know the devil is a liar. We are going to carry on and do this. So please, I want to hear your thought on that question. Which is more important? Which is more important among these types of weddings? The traditional way of getting married, that is what some people call engagement wedding, or something that is said by you getting married in the court, in the law, or you getting married in the church. When And some people will say just a church blessing. I want to read your comments out. Please let me hear what you have to say this afternoon. I want to hear from you. Mommy Shown Dipoli, thank you for joining us. Grace Tom Lawyer, I can't see other people. Please let us know where you are watching from this afternoon and let us know your thoughts. I want to know your view on that question that I have asked. Which is more important? Is it the traditional way of getting married or court or church? Which is more important? Lioness, are you with us now? I think people just want to hear you talk this afternoon. <laughs> Lioness, can you hear Ross? I'm not sure she can hear us. I want to read your comments. Please let me know what do you think about these questions. And if you are watching, oh, Augustina is watching from Dublin. Thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. I want to know where you're watching from. And that question, which do you count or see as more important in more in all of this way of getting married? Is it when you get married in the church or you do the traditional way of getting married by, you know, some people call it engagement? Or when you just go to the registry, some people will just say, I just want to get married in the court. You know, just go to the registry. Or some people will say, I want to get married in church. I've served the church. And once I get the blessing from God, I am fine. Which do you find to be more important from all of this? Oluwabumi, thank you very much. She's watching us from PA. I want to know the meaning, the full meaning of that PA. Please, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Please help us share this video so that people will know that we are live. The devil is a liar and I know that you're going to hear the full story of lioness. You know, she when she introduced herself, she said she's a child of God. And as a child of God, sometimes the devil wants to come and try to see if you're truly who you say you are. And today we are not going to give up. Lioness, can you hear me now? Lioness, I want to know. Trying to contact her via phone to see what is going on. Wow. I really want to know. Can you hear me now, Lioness? I think our internet is not very strong. You know, these are one of the challenges that we have when we are, you know, broadcasting and interviewing somebody that is far away from us. We thank God for the opportunity that COVID has opened our eyes to see because without COVID, we wouldn't have thought of this. So we really appreciate that. Lioness, can you hear me now? I want to know if you can hear me and you can hear us. Wow. Please, I want to know where you are watching from, your name, and where you are watching from, I want to say hello to you personally. Thank you very much for joining us. Yes, she's joining us all the way from S USA. Wow, that's far. 
Where is that? Pennings? Okay, you have to say that to me. PA, I'll stick with that PA in USA. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining us. Right? Please, Lioness, can you hear us? I want to know if you can hear us. Yes, I can hear you. Good, good. I can hear you too loud and right, clear. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for being patient and consistent. You didn't give up. Thank you. Thank no. you very much. So we're going to we go back to that up. question I asked you. You know, during my pre-interview, you said something that you were expecting love because you never had love yourself. Can you please explain mm -hmm. what you meant by that? Because I believe somebody watching us now or that will come across this video needs to hear that. All right. Um, shall I say that I think it's just important that a lady who is going into a marriage that is a lifelong marriage should be able to love themselves first. Mm. Now, you need to be able to discover yourself. Now, you can't find yourself, because I'm a Christian, I'm a child of God, you need to love yourself first. The reason is because you won't be able to give, you can't give what you don't have, you see. So, I was expecting love from somebody, and, I'm ex and I was expecting to be able to give love to, but I, I couldn't get the love, and I couldn't give the love. The reason is because you just feel that, um, again, it's because I haven't, I haven't discovered myself. Okay, so the scripture says that um, love your neighbor as yourself. Now, you can't love your neighbor until when you love yourself. Now, you mm. can't discover yourself. You can't love yourself until when you find love in God, mm -hmm. in mm. Christ. Now, that is a place of discovery. Mm -hmm. God is love. Now, when you are in God, when you know God, when you mm -hmm. know his love, when you find love for yourself, you will be able to discharge love. Mm. Now, and when you discharge love, you will be able to get back. But then, you know, it, 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 it's, just, it's just about finding yourself. It's a place mm. of finding yourself. It's a place of Thank finding you. love in god in christ thank you and that is the place thank of you. finding your identity who you are thank you thank you I, I would love to really stop you there because i know if i leave it you see i told you by the time she's out of a shell you would just be blessed to listen to lioness this afternoon why is it important that you have to know yourself before you get married why is it important um lioness all right, um, let me start by saying this. Now, food is not a disease. It's a phase. Mm. Now, it is a phase where you... I enjoyed my single life. I would travel. I would go all over the place. I enjoy visiting people. I enjoyed, you know, my single life. So, you know... It, Again, singlehood is not a disease. It's just a place, mm -hmm. you know, to, to enjoy yourself, enjoy God, and know mm -hmm. yourself. All right? So, yeah. so it's important that as a single, mm -hmm. as a single person, you need mm -hmm. to identify what, who you are, know who you are, and know mm -hmm. who you are. Now, mm. and begin to invest in yourself. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a place where you begin to have an intimacy. This is a place where you should have an intimacy with God. Into me, you see, some people would say. Now, this is a place where you should be able to... This is where, when you have intimacy with God, you will begin to deposit a lot of things in you. You will mm. begin to build up your values. You will begin to build up your worth. You will begin to build up your belief system. You will begin to believe, um, you know, develop your treasures. You know, when that, when the scripture talks about treasures in hidden vessel, mm. that is when you begin to build those treasures. That is okay. where you should 
begin to accommodate, you know, taking a lot of skills, things hmm. that makes you, make, makes you a woman, that will mm -hmm. make you stand, not being a burden on a man in marriage, mm -hmm. Mm. you know. This is a time you. that you need to develop yourself and build your sense of worth. But Thank now, you. if you don't develop that, then what mm -hmm. are you doing? Thank you. Because Thank this you is very where much. you find your identity. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much for answering that question. You know, from the way you've given that um, definition of knowing or explaining why it is important for you to know yourself before you actually say, yes, I do to a man. Will you? I want to ask you this question, Lioness, and, and I believe our viewers will want to know as well. Will you say you were a Christian before you actually got into that marriage? Oh, yes, absolutely. I'm a Christian. <laughs> I, I was a Christian. I'm a Christian. Well, where? Yes, we, I we a, understand. I was, a, I was a Christian, yes. Yes, absolutely. thank you. Thank you for not denying Christ, you know. No. Thank you very much for that um quest for that answer. You know, we understand that from the topic of our discussion today, mm -hmm. you know, if we had one plus one, we would know that you're not in that marriage anymore. And that is why you are a perfect person to for this topic and to, and that is why you've come on this show to come and share your experience so i really want to say thank you i want to say a big thank you to you for coming to share these you know on the national television to to explain to share your experience with us to to let people know where you've gone it wrong so they won't go wrong there you know and that is one beauty about this show this is why i i love this show that when you Gone through that experience, you don't want other people to go through it. Yeah. So, Lioness, we're there, and I know that you are an honest woman. You know, during my pre interview with you, were there any red, red flags that you ignored from the beginning on, of this relationship? Oh, of course, of course, there were red flags, many red flags. <laughs> okay, so there can you share some flags. of? some of these red flags with us again for the benefit that of some people that might be seeing them now and are ignoring it all right um there were a lot of red flags now you would see red flags identify and watch out for it when you are truly a child of god mm -hmm. when you have the spirit of god now if you are indeed daddy's daughter our daddy mm -hmm. he will tell you he will let you know mm. he will tell you but then do we listen mm. do we pay attention that is the issue that we have with single ladies especially at that time of your age when you want to be loved and when you want to give love mm. mm -hmm. Because it's a face. Because as women, what we do is we evolve. Mm -hmm. We evolve each day. So that time of your life that you want to give love and you want to be loved, you know, there were times that there would be red. In fact, I had I, I saw a lot of red flags. Mm -hmm. All right. So one of the one of the one of the red flags was that God spoke to me. Wow. He spoke to me. Mm -hmm. He spoke to me. Mm -hmm. And God so spoke to me that he didn't have to send too many people. Mm. Only one person. No, actually, I think about I think about three people. Now wow. the other two people faintly said to me, are you sure you want to do this? Hmm. And I said, yes, 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 you know, <laughs> the excitement in stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, um, and, but one lady, I will never forget her. She's hmm. a friend from secondary school. She was the one that called me up in the bus. And she wow. said to me, 
my dear sister, are you sure that this person, with what you have said to me, with what you have told me, with what I know, do you really want to go ahead? And I said, yes, you know, that people make mistakes. People, you know, people make mistakes, people, you know, and then we, we move on, mm. you know. Mm -hmm. I had to, you know, later I had to speak to that lady and I had to, I, I had to really appreciate that, you know, that thank you for saying that, mm. you know, I really thank appreciate you. it. She's married now. She's married. Mm -hmm. She's married with two children, happily married, you know. Wow. Uh, I'm not sure if she's on this platform. But, okay um she's aware of this all right mm. yeah <laughs> another, thank you and, all right sir. thank you thank you very much Oluwabumi is saying yes they are always red flags we just ignore them and that is why we are asking that we are having this discussion this afternoon that we should pay more attention to those red flags runs Nan, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. She's saying great point. Singlehood is not a disease. Thank you very much. And those joining us on YouTube, thank you very much. I want to know where you are watching from and we want to hear your questions or your views on this show. Thank you very much, Adiosu. Thank you. She's saying yes. Victor from Nigeria, thank you very much for joining us this afternoon. Dino Badmas, thank you very much for joining us. She's saying we can hear you. Thank you very much for staying till we've got that fixed. Thank you, I really, really appreciate you. You know, when we were trying to fix all of that technical ish the other time, I asked a question though, which is more important among these types of uh, weddings? We mentioned the traditional wedding where some people will say it is an engagement. Some people say, I want to get married in the court. And some people will say, no, I just want to have my church wedding done. Lioness, can you please help us clear the hair? Which type of marriage did you do? Is it the church, the traditional way, or in the court? All right, we, we, we in our own case, we never, we never had a traditional wedding done. We never had the court marriage done. We only had a church, church were done and there were reasons that I mean I may not be able to share here why mm. we couldn't do that mm. but but I what again <laughs> um, <laughs> but again when we mm -hmm. when we did what we did mm -hmm. we, we did that because we thought okay since those two could not be put in place, mm -hmm. we can do this. Mm -hmm. um, and and to be honest with you, <laughs> we were doing that because, you know, he had said to me that by the time I see you, <laughs> I wanted to feel pregnant for me. And I'm like, no, we don't do that in my family. Mm. You know, we don't do that. And, and, I say, and again, that's one of the red flags. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to have turned away, but I still mm. held on to it. You Thank know. you. So, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. You know, that brief um, answer that you just gave now is quite loaded. And something you said to was the hand beat is really, really important. Do not drop your values, your beliefs, those values that your families have instilled in you just because you want to get married. And when a guy is saying, yes, we can have sex, everybody is doing it before we get married. You can even get pregnant for me before we get married. It doesn't really matter. People are doing it. Is that the way you were raised up? Just because everybody is doing it, do you? have to do it that is the question i want you to ask yourself thank you very much and um, sister hero for joining us this afternoon she's joining us all the way from london we do really appreciate your time again if i've not mentioned your name is because you're not saying i or where you are watching from and on youtube as well please don't feel ignored i know you're all there thank you very much for joining us 
Right. I know you, you had to, from discussing with you, Lioness, I know that you had to jump. You, you quickly got married to these, your ex. Will you say, or maybe I should rephrase that, do you have a reason for the way you got married to your ex? You know, some people would have said, oh, maybe he put, he cast a spell on you. And, you know, from where I am from, some people will use the word jazz. Did he jazz you? You know, or was it due to pressure? And if there were all of these, I really want you to mention some of the pressures if you, you felt you were pressurized to do that. All right. Um, we said this, that, you know, I will start from the point where the Lord Jesus said that, you know, the prince of this world came and found nothing mm. in me. It was, it's, it's from that point that I will, I would share what I'm about to share. So again, if, 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 if a, if a man or a woman is jazzing somebody else, it's because there's something on the inside of you that is hmm. accommodating whatever is being cast on you. Now, people would have said to me, why didn't you, you know, do a traditional wedding? Don't you know? Are you not a child of God? Are you not a Christian? You know, I know all of that. But again, there was something on the inside of me. You know, when I began to assess myself, I realized that it was not his fault. Wow. I realized that it was actually my fault. Now, when you don't open the door of your heart to just hmm. anybody, they won't come in. If mm -hmm. the enemy within does not kill, the enemy without will not have, have any authority over you. Now, if you don't allow anything that is impure, you know, you will not, anything that is impure with you, in you, within you, will not romance something that is outside that is impure. Yeah. Now, you will only attract your like. Mm. If you don't bring down your value system, your worth, your pressure, your treasures, your peers, if you don't bring it down, your standards, the way you have served the Lord, what God has deposited on the inside of you, your worth, things that you have learned from the Lord, you won't bring it down. The reason is because it's just important that we hold on to the treasures in our eden vessel. All right? So people yeah. have said to me, but you know, why didn't you do your traditional? Why didn't you allow him to pay this? Why didn't you allow him to do that? You know, but mm. because... Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You, you, you know something? I, I wanted to ask you the next question, but from what you've just said now, you've answered it. I wanted to ask that if... if who will you blame? from rushing into the marriage, but I think you've just answered it to yourself. And I just want to, I, w I hope our viewers will be able to help me to appreciate you for being honest, for being sincere, for not holding back. And some of the questions I am asking at this morning, this afternoon, we've gone through this, um, you know, this interview before this show and i'm asking it so that she will be able to say what she's been through i know she can't express everything but the little she can so that us watching or those people that will come across this video later will be able to be a blessing from it they will not make the same mistake and that is why she's sharing what she is sharing this afternoon and i really really want you to help me encourage her send a hat and share this video let a lot of viewers know that even if you are a christian you're praying you know from morning to evening you know she said something if there's still something in you that the devil can just with can allow other people to use just to get you 
it will get to you and this is just a lesson is is something for us to really reflect upon ourselves to be able to find out what is it that is not of god that is in us so thank you very much lioness for what you're sharing this afternoon i know you are a child of god and from discussing with you and from what you're sharing this afternoon i know you know how to talk to the father could God not have changed or turned things around for for you or even for other people when we make mistakes? You know, I just want you to help us answer this question because I believe from you, even talking about God, how you are, you know, his daughter, you are his, his girl. Can he not overlook your mistake and and turn things around for you? You know, I've seen a movie called um, War Room and I saw a woman, you know, there that her mother taught how to pray and she prayed and she was able to fight for a marriage and she won her husband back and God answered a prayer. Will you say you did do any of that? I, I just wanted to share with us, you know, from that angle. There were things that I did, but again, you know, God spoke to me that you were just building on sand. You know, hmm. you were just building on sand. Literally, I had a trance that a mid-terrace building was actually collapsing. Mid-terrace. You can imagine a house, a, a, a building that has a house on each hmm. side, but the one in the middle mm -hmm. was collapsing. So I hmm. knew what we built was we, we built rubbish. We didn't build okay. on the foundation of Christ. We moved away. I moved away from the foundation of Christ. So I built on rubbish. All right? Wow. And whatever you hmm. build will mm -hmm. crumble. Whatever you build on the sand, you know, mm -hmm. again, it makes me remember one of the parables of the lord jesus christ he said you know <laughs> there was a man who was building on the sand mm -hmm. and there was another man who was building on the rock mm. and you know the funniest thing because the bible says and stone came and because he met that house on the sand he just mm -hmm. destroyed it but the one that is on the rock mm. stood because they were built on the rock. We, I built, you know, even, they, even though they said a wise woman would build a, a home or family, uh -huh. you know, the point yeah. was, I was building on rubbish. Hmm. You know, I was building wow. on rubbish with you. I was building on the sand. So everything collapsed. Hmm. Now, again, wow. when I checked through the scripture, I found out that, mm -hmm. all right, so there's a place in the scripture in the first Corinthians, it was, First Corinthians, I think in chapter 7, it was talking about the fact that, you know, if an unbelieving um, spouse wants to go, let them go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But then, if they want to stay, let them stay. So, if I bring that together with mm -hmm. what I did, I mean, I, I tried to pray. I, I prayed, to be honest with you, I sought counsel. I went for can you know for counseling session with my pastor's mm -hmm. wife, who is a professional mm -hmm. counselor. You know, I yeah. read books, love, love there, which was which was a, a devotional that they used in fireproof. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, because I was building all of that mm. on on sand, everything mm. collapsed. Wow. Everything went down the drain. Wow. Again. God spoke to me. I saw it. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I knew it was going to crumble. In fact, from the fifth month that we did the church um, um, blessing that we did, or church marriage that mm -hmm. we did, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, God had opened my eyes to see that, you know, it wasn't, it was, you know, it was, it was going to come apart. Everything, wow. it wasn't going to stand. But Thank you know, you. you're just patching it, thinking that mm -hmm. you know, you're just patching. You I was thinking that okay, along the line, 
you know, because it's not what God. Hmm. Thank you, know? you. Thank you. Thank you very much again for your sincerity. You know, I've had a lot of women come on the show when we talk about, you know, brokenness in marriage and a lot of women will not actually attribute or look at things from their side. And I like the way you're taking things, the way you're sharing this afternoon, that you are looking inward. And that is what I want us to do this afternoon. Every one of us watching this video now, or those that will come across it later, we should reflect on ourselves. Thank you very much. You know, she said, when you're building, what are you actually building on? Do you think, okay, maybe I will ask her this question. I, I shouldn't answer it. Do you think prayer can fix everything, Olua, um, lioness? Because I've, I've seen people say, you pray and God will turn things around. You pray and God will help you to hold that man down. And, you know, that's my first question. Did you not pray enough, one? And is this man not a Christian? Why is prayer not getting across to him? All right. The truth of the matter is you can't go along into what you have not allowed him to put his hand in at the beginning. God had warned me. God has spoken to me severally. In actual fact, mm -hmm. God did not, like I, I said to you, God did not send so many people to me because God had spoken to me clearly. I had dreams. I had revelations. Mm. God spoke to me in a clear tongue. The very first few days that I said yes to this man that I'm talking about, I had a revelation mm. that I was holding a, a stick that's got, that's got ants on it. And the ant was, you know, coming on my body and was, you know, <laughs> it, it, mm -hmm. very strange, very strange dream. You know, um, there was another time that, there was another time that, even, you know, there was another time that, you know, um, all right, so we were having these phone conversations and, mm -hmm. you know, and we were having this phone conversation and he, he said that he said something and i said well that well that's a lie but that's not the truth mm -hmm. and he goes well that's a professional lie and i'm like no oh right. <laughs> a child of god shouldn't be doing that because i'm very much aware of what mm. the Bible says in the book of Revelation, anybody that makes a lie will not enter into the kingdom of God mm. or the kingdom of heaven. So, so those were the things. But the truth of the matter is, God told me. Mm. So, it, it's, so again, in the place of prayer, prayer is a communication. Mm -hmm. Prayer is, is a relationship that we have with the Lord. Mm. And in prayer, we submit to the will of God. We don't submit mm -hmm. to our will. Yeah. So, so you want to drag God into what you did not involve Him, or what He has warned you about. You want to you want to drag God to come and fix what you spoiled. It's not going to be possible, unless if we are praying outside of the will of God, and that is witchcraft. Pure. Wow. It's not where you grow wings. And you start Thank you. that light. So Thank which you. means when you are not actually praying the will of God. Because wow. you don't know the will of God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, something that I really want everybody to take from that is when you don't invite God, you know, into a thing from the beginning, you can't drag him along you know, when you are in the middle of it, you know, it's always good to walk with God. Don't walk ahead of him. Don't walk behind him. Don't walk in front of him. Walk with him, you know, go with his leading. Let him say a thing before you actually go into it. Thank you very much. And the person you want to, and commit your life into his hand to make you the leader, to make your, your, your priest. You have to be sure that person 
is from God, is of God, is the will of God for your life. Thank you very much, um, Lioness, for that. I know you said you've prayed and you didn't want to drag God you know, into it as well. You've read books, you've watched movies. But I believe that as a believer and an, as a believing Christian, you should have won your, your spouse or your ex through your characters if the prayers didn't work. You know, even the Bible said that when you you have a man that is an unbeliever and is refusing to go to church with you. Your character, your behavior, your 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 the way you do things should make that person to see God in you and want to go with you. I mean, the fruit of the spirit, you should be able to exhibit it and you should be able to let that be seen through you. Would you say you failed in that aspect or did you exhibit those fruits and it didn't work? Um, I did exhibit those fruits because, you know, um, as a child of God, I, I had those fruits in me anyway. I exhibited those fruits until the point when I started getting depressed and I started misbehaving. Mm. I mm. got depressed and I, <laughs> I got depressed and then I started having suicidal thoughts. It was to that extent. Wow. So it was not until when I, I started having, and, and it's a mental state. I got depressed. Mm. I was misbehaving, you know. So I lost, I lost practically everything. Do you know the reason why? Because why? before I met him, I had values, worth, Mm -hmm. Things God has deposited on me, in inside of me, rather, mm -hmm. you know, things God has taught me, mm -hmm. grace that I've been, you know, expanding, you know, expressing, putting into expression, and I couldn't do them anymore. I felt stuck. So because I felt stuck, I started misbehaving to the extent that my parents were wondering, ah, this is not the kind of child that we gave back to. My siblings were mm. wondering, what is wrong with this girl? Mm. You know, I was misbehaving. I, I was misbehaving. So I, I would say that towards the end of it, it was, it was really messy because I just started misbehaving up and down. You know, Thank there you. was no respect. Because when I re sorry to cut you in, because when I realized that I had made the mistake, hmm. I began to realize that, okay, you know what? I feel frustrated. Mm. I feel failure. There were times mm -hmm. I didn't want to return back home, but because I have wow. children. Mm. Wow. Thank you. Thank you very much for being honest. You know, you are truly a woman of the spirit. My next question would have been, you know, did you at any time felt or feel like I have made a mistake by getting married to this person. You know, again, I'm not asking you because I know what you feel. You've, you've shared it with me. But because somebody might be in that situation now and they might not be able to assess themselves. And they might be feeling in a particular way, you know, you, you set some feelings, some emotions, some behavior that you exhibited that were not even yours. You know, when you are depressed you or you felt suicidal, you will put on an habit a behavior that is not yours because the state you are at that moment is making you to behave in that manner and that is why i want to you, you to share with somebody that might be watching now did you at any point felt i made mistake i make a mistake why did i commit into this relationship yes there were times that I, I, because I knew I was in the wrong, in the wrong path, you know, God has spoken to me again about it. And, you know, the, the reason why I said God spoke to me is because I had a relationship with him. I knew him. He spoke to me, but it's just that I did not listen. But so when I got into the 
when I went on the journey that it did not, it did not set me into, I, I feel like I disappointed him. I feel like I disappointed my parents and I dishonored them. I feel like I disappointed my pastors, you know, men and women of God. You know, I feel like I disappointed my brethren. I feel like I disappointed people who are looking up to me. I feel yeah. disappointed in myself. Mm -hmm. I feel absolutely disappointed. I feel I disappointed the Lord who has warned me on several occasions. But I listen. Okay. So I feel Thank you. I, I knew I was wrong. I, I, I knew I was, mm -hmm. I need, I, I knew I made a mistake when things mm. began to, you know, <clears throat> see, when you have, you know, the, the fake is as a result of the original. Mm -hmm. It is so true. Now, devil does not have anything that is original. Mm. He's only mm -hmm. managing to make things look like the original, but they are fake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, it is only time that would tell which mm. one is the original and which one is the fake. It's a fake. Now, it takes you sometimes when you're going on a fake journey, you will think it's the original, but again, mm. it is not the original. It may look like the wow. original, but it is not but the it's original. Not. Thank you. So it is just a matter of time when that fake will fade away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It Thank is the original Thank you. that stand the test of time. The text of time. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much for that. I just love this woman for our sincerity. And I hope you are helping us to share this video because she's sharing, she's pouring her heart out this afternoon. And she doesn't want, want another person to go that journey that she's been through. And that is why she's sharing it this afternoon. Please help us share this video. You might think you don't need it, but please. Help us share it because somebody on your platform might just need to hear what she's sharing this afternoon. Thank you very much. And Carice, she's saying to Bo, she said, I have experienced this depression and I can understand what you are talking about. That is on Facebook, on YouTube. Thank you very much. Um, Victor, Victor is saying red flags are always there. But we often claim love is blind. The red flags we do mm -hmm. not address will eventually open the blind eyes of love. Again, she texts me on WhatsApp to explain the question that I asked before. She said, great talk going on there. To your first question, they are all important de depending on the angle you are coming from. Traditional or engagement or consent by parents is as important as the marriage. You cannot take someone's daughter without their consent. Court become key, especially for legal and documentation purposes. Church wedding as it is done today has become social gathering. You can also get prayed for or church blessing as it is called. For a Christian, traditional or parental consent is the key others are. Thank you very much for your contribution. I really want to read your comments or your views on the topic of our discussion this afternoon. So please get in touch with us, get involved by sharing this video, send a comment or your view on the topic. Thank you very much for that. I believe we have another comment on Facebook. I can't see it come up yet, but it will come up later. Right. You mentioned that you experienced depression at as a result of your marriage. How should, or I want you to explain to somebody that might be going through that similar situation at the moment, and they don't know the way they're feeling. They just felt... I'm, I'm feeling somehow, I'm, I'm not particularly myself. Can you share some of the way you were feeling when you thought you were depressed? Did you have to go and see a doctor, you know, or a counselor? How did you know that you are depressed? Were you clinically, you know, depressed? Or how did you know? Because somebody might be watching now and they don't know what they can say they are now. 
Um, yes, I, I... Again, yes, yes, I, 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 and I had to go and um, see my, my, my pastor's and wife, who is a professional counselor. Um, okay. And the reason why I did that was because I was, I was still hiding things away from my parents, from my siblings, from my family. And I didn't want to go to them so that they would start asking me questions. So what I did was I resorted that I was going to speak to my pastor's wife. She's a, like I said, she's a professional counselor. And whilst I was speaking with her, she was the one that said to me, my sister, you are depressed. You know, you are depressed. Shall I refer yeah. you mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. prof another professional counselor if you think okay. you are not confident, you know, you are not comfortable with me? And I said, mm -hmm. yes. So I spoke with counselor. They counseled me. And particularly, mm -hmm. now, I think one thing about depression is you speak out. Don't keep quiet. Mm. Speak out. Try and speak out. Mm -hmm. Speak to somebody. Mm -hmm. Speak to somebody. As a woman, don't keep quiet. Speak mm. to somebody. That will really help you. So I spoke to her and I spoke to mm -hmm. a couple more people who helped me to come out of that. Who pulled me away from that verge of fulfilling whatever societal thought that I had. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, um, Lioness. I, I'm really, really, I feel like hugging you this afternoon because okay, a lot of women have been on my show. I've, I've interviewed few women and we've talked about this topic, but it has never come from this angle that you are talking about it from before and that is why i really thank god for your life i thank god for the honesty for your genuineness and i know that lives are going to be better today i know eyes are going to be open today i know new chapter are going to be open in the life of our viewers today thank you very much for what you're doing thank you very much clarice she's saying so impressed with this topic thank you very much for joining us this afternoon we really really do appreciate you please join us next week again we always discuss different topics every wednesday yes speaking out is therapeutic that is the key and that is one of the reasons why i wanted her to say that because one of the way the devil can get people you know destroyed it's by asking you to be mute not to speak out you know so it is really really important that when you're feeling you know some people you don't know it's called depression it is when you go and see uh, your gp if you're in england or you go and see a medical practitioner and they are able to assess you then they'll be able to tell you and let you know if you are experiencing what we call depression if it's clinical they will let you know and if it's just a normal you know either there are some mild and um, depression that you will just go from some therapeutic you know counseling or you see a, 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 a psychology and you'll be fine and some you have to actually take medication for for you to be okay so that is what we are saying this afternoon please speak out do not suffer in silence thank you very much Oluwa Bumi is saying you are right thank you very very much right lioness you shared something with, with me that I really really want you to share with our viewers because i want them to know the gravity of what went on and when you are low you are down what you can do you know you shared about you being depressed and being emotionally down and that moment sometimes when you are like that you don't know what is going on around you so I really, really want you to share what you shared with me during our pre-interview. You said that you've got to, you know, lions, you know, from your introduction from the beginning of this show, from this relationship. How were you able to manage your emotions, you know, towards these children during this period? 
how did you see them what's what what was your relationship like with the children um, or did it not affect so them yeah thank you so much for that um question i really have to, um again you know i thank god for the phenomenon called forgiveness mm. thank god because you know there is a concept called forgiveness where you don't mm -hmm. have to bear the guilt of what you've done wrong mm. um i thank god because i would forgiven myself because each time that I think about things that have happened in the past, you know, again, the, the, okay, so there's, um, there's this, the, 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 the picture of the, of, of the cross comes bursting forth in my, in my vision, in my face. And Jesus is saying to me, girl, look at the cross and let this woman go. Forgive her, mm. forgive yourself. Wow for mm. things that you've done now mm -hmm. i told you that i was misbehaving you know and i couldn't get myself and i, I actually misbehaved towards my children um, mm. which, which i had to go to them individually and go and ask them to forgive me wow because mommy wasn't feeling well i wasn't okay because then we were homeless and we were staying wow. in my brother's place so I was under so much pressure. We couldn't get a house. Um, I didn't know what was going to become of me. I had cesarean section for the two lions. Um, I had a toddler who is less than two years. And I had a baby who is about three, who is about one month or two, about mm. a month. When, we, when we, there was no accommodation anymore for us. Hmm. So I was coping with the postnatal pains, or, you know, inconveniences, coping with the wound, which I had for mm -hmm. the second time. I was coping with um, a baby who is suckling, mm -hmm. who is quite active in the <laughs> night and during the day, dealing with a toddler who is less than two years so I had mm. to put, try to look out for, you know, to potty train, and mm -hmm. you know, I so there were a lot of times that I had to shout at these boys. There were a lot of times that I had to, that I had, had you know, this gift towards them. But one thing that I realized was I had the opportunity because I've made up my mind. When I I gave back to these two boys. Each one of them, when I'm bringing them back from the hospital, I say to them that, you know, mommy may not always get it wrong, but whenever that I mm. get it wrong, and mommy may not always get it right, rather. And whenever that I get it wrong, and I know that I am wrong, I will come after you and apologize. Wow. I will say sorry, which I <laughs> did. In actual fact, about a couple of weeks ago, I was having a devotion mm -hmm. with the boys and we were talking about forgiveness in our devotion and i asked to have i had to ask my eldest son i said to him i said has mommy has mommy upset being mean or have i done anything wrong i was surprised at what this boy said he said yes <laughs> when when we were when we were young hmm. he said yes but you know i said to him that have you forgiven mommy he said yes mommy i forgive you Wow. You know, so again, Thank you. it's a confirmation that, mm. you know, it, 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 it's a good thing that there's mm. forgiveness, forgiveness of mm. sin, mm -hmm. where, you know, your, where your, your sin, the guilt of your sin is taken away. Mm. All right. Thank you. Where the blood of Jesus washes you, washes you. Mm. And the cross mm -hmm. is constantly there to say, girl, you are forgiven already. Even if the devil wants to bring bring the past and bring mm. the guilt again and make you feel mm. the pain of the past again, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the, the cross, Thank the you. vision of the cross is always mm. bursting in my sight, you know, making wow. me know that 
the man at the cross has forgiven me. He has let mm. me go. So I need to Thank forgive you. myself and move on. And you know, it just Thank helps you. me to also forgive the father of my children. Oh, hold on, hold on. The reason hold on, we're going to get there. You don't have. Yeah. Again, you can't hold give on. If you don't have forgiveness, you can't give it. If you don't have love, you can't give it. So what I did during that time was that when I was in that relationship, what I did was I threw out of the window of my daddy. He has always loved me. And, and that's why I say, you know, the relationship between daddy and their girls is always a special one. That's the way God designed it, you know. Even when you go away here and there, daddy will still find a way to look out for you and bring you back. You see, you are thank the one that you. Like that, you know. Wow, but thank I, you. I, was, <laughs> I fell back into the love of my mm. father, who mm -hmm. is in heaven, whose love cannot nobody fathom, whose love wow. you cannot describe, you can't explain. In mm -hmm. fact, we will yeah. grapple with it the rest <laughs> of our life till we meet him. It's a love. Wow, that thank you. you. It is inexplainable. It's a love yes. that. Absolutely. Took that man to the cross. Yeah. Thank you. And he said, "Thank I you my life very down. much." Again, it was because Thank of you. the love of love, love of God. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much, Lioness. You know, you are just a woman of the spirit. I was going to ask you about forgiveness, but you've talked about it. So it's really, really important. You know. And and that what you shared showed me how how we should be humble, and when we are wrong, again reflect, and try to humble yourself and go and do the right thing. Which you apologizing to your children is not a sin. It's not just because oh, I'm the mommy, I'm the daddy, I can't apologize to them. We can't get it right all the time. Just like Lioness said. Thank you very much for that. I want to read something Victor wrote on YouTube. I really love it. And I believe that we have pastors and uh, pastors and counselors watching us this afternoon. And it, it just spoke my mind because this is what I believe that our pastors, they are not fixed for all. They're not multi-purpose. They can only do what they've been assigned by God to do. They can't fix everything. Victor said, I sincerely want to thank your pastor's wife who knew the boundaries between clinical and spiritual help. Great lessons for spiritual leaders. Thank you very much for that. And Victor again, Clarice said, thank you so much sis, for sharing. There are many women who are mad today because of depression. I don't like to use the word mad, but I have to read what you wrote because I don't believe anybody is mad. You know, if we are using this word, these are the things that we need to stop using because we want people who are suffering from mental illness to be able to come out without any taboo, without any, any stigma, to be able to come out freely. And because of some certain words that we use, they are not coming out. So thank you very much for sharing that. I do really appreciate you. Please help us share this video because I believe Lioness have shared with us a lot of things this afternoon. Right, I know you said you've been able to forgive yourself and you've been able to love God, but have you been able to love your ex or the father of your children? Again, I would say that you can't give, give what you don't have. Mm -hmm. So when I had the love of the father, I was able to love. So when I say I've forgiven him, I've truly and sincerely forgiven mm -hmm. him because the truth of the matter is it is not his fault. Wow. I was the one that let them out. I was the mm. one who opened my door. I was the wow. one who brought down my values, my my treasures, my worth. And you mm -hmm. know what the Bible talks about? You yeah. know, it says that we should not we should not cast our pills before the swine. Mm -hmm. Because what they do is they don't know how to naturally swine don't know 
out and and it's not it's not their fault that's the way they are no, it's made not. or the way mm-hmm. they being yeah naturally swines or pigs don't know how to yeah. undo treasures they don't no. know how to do it in natural fact the new living translation of that version of that verse of the scripture it was talking mm-hmm. about the fact that you know when you cast your pearls before the swine or the before a pig yeah. they will trample upon it and when they trample upon it finish <laughs> They will now face mm-hmm. you and attack you. Attack him. Right. So <laughs> that's the reason why um, you know, I've forgiven him, to be honest with you. God. And God sees my mm-hmm. heart because I have mm-hmm. forgiven myself. You know, each time I look at the cross, the vision of the mm-hmm. cross always comes bursting forth in my face. Mm. And each time that I see the cross, because the truth of the matter is the thermometer of the love of God does not change. Wow. God loves him as much as he loves mm-hmm. me. Yes. God loves me as much as he mm-hmm. loves him. Mm-hmm. All right. So God loves mm-hmm. us. You know, whether you are a child of God, whether you are not, God loves Thank you. you. The thermometer did Thank not you. change. Does not I love that. <laughs> I love that. It. So Thank because you. you say, because because you think you are a Christian, you go to church five days mm-hmm. before. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. God does not Thank love you. you less or more than that Thank man down you. the road. Exactly. Or whoever exactly. That <laughs> Thank but you. Just Thank you very much. The way we respond much. to the love of God is what it's matters. Different. The one is what makes yes. the difference. Different, yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I tell you, when she's out of her shell, you won't stop her. She will just keep going. Thank you very much. For what you're sharing this afternoon you know i i posted something on the 18th of um last month and you just quoted exactly the same thing i wrote you don't wrestle with a pig because you will both get dirty and guess what the pig will enjoy it after all being dirty is natural to a pig and that's what you've just explained now Thank you. Thank you very much. And God loves us all. This is the simplest, you know, example I give to people. When it rains, does God say it should just rain on just the Christian? No, it rains on everybody. And so God loves everyone, whether they they, they are the most criminal, the, the most bad person, if there's any word like that, you know, God loves any, everybody. So please, Try, get to a place where you can forgive those who have hurt you. And that is where you will start your healing from. Thank you very much. I know you've said a lot of things and people would have picked one advice or the other from what you've said. But what advice will you give to your younger self? If you look at yourself, I know during our pre-interview, you told me you don't like Mm. to look at the mirror sometime in your life. But I know you love to look into the mirror now because you're a beautiful girl. You are a queen, you know. So you should always look at the mirror. What advice will you advise your younger self right now or a younger lady about to get married watching you or will come across this video thank you so much for asking me that question i have you know made up my mind that i have god has a word for categories of women a natural father had to pen it down all right so for sisters or for younger me I would say enjoy your time of singlehood. Explore. Mm-hmm. Serve the Lord. Run around. Travel. <laughs> enjoy your single time. Like enjoy. Mm-hmm. You know, enjoy mm-hmm. it to the fullest. That even when you come oh. out of it, you won't miss it. You know that kind of enjoyment. Yes. And as a child of God. Know mm-hmm. who and whose you are. Wow. You remember, um, what is the name of this? Boaz. He was mm-hmm. asking his folks that were walking on the floor. He said, whose damn cell is that? Mm-hmm. Who is that girl? Mm-hmm. Whose damn cell is that? Yeah. So you, know, you need to know who and whose you are in Christ. Thank you. And you can't know that until when you give your heart to the Lord. And know mm-hmm. you personally. That is when you can discover yourself. 
and again i will say defend what you have mm. i mean hold on to it don't bring down your value system your standards mm. your peers mm. your treasures mm -hmm. god's mm -hmm. involvement and investment in your life what he has wow. taught you things that you know about god things that mm. you, have, you have learned many years of your life things that mm -hmm. you have built to wow. defend them diligently mm. defend mm -hmm. them and stand wow. up and fight for what is yours in christ mm. pray as if you're before you get into um, any any relationship mm -hmm. before you say yes pray as mm. if your life depends on it in actual depends fact and of on course it. your life depends on it depends on it so because the truth of the matter is the pain mm. of single parenthood is mm -hmm. so much it's wow. so deep you don't want lioness to... lioness i know you're writing a book and i want people i'm just releasing this secret and i want people to read that book so don't give everything away keep some oh, for yes. the book so that when people get the book they will want to read it right can you please share some tips with my viewers we are coming to the end of today's show on how to heal from a broken relationship because some people are still broken and they don't know how to get healed and i know you are talking from somebody that has been healed from god how did you get there can you just give them some tips again don't share everything i want them to get your book when it's out all right um fellow women who have failed marriages please if you are not a child of god on this platform or whichever platform that you're watching from is high time mm -hmm. you give your heart to the lord accept him as your lord and personal savior because that will give you a hedge. For Christians, you need to go back to Daddy Isa, like as soon as possible. Go mm -hmm. back to your heavenly father. His arms are open wide. He mm -hmm. wants you, he wants you back into his arms. And work with people who can encourage you. People who are there to support you. I, I thank God for a wonderful family. My, my parents, my siblings, who, you know, and Christian brothers and sisters, my pastor and his wife, um, my father in the Lord and his wife, you know, who, who helped me, mentors in the Lord, who helped me to get back on my feet, you know, feed on the word of God and prayer. Why you, and then wait on the Lord. And while you're waiting, mm. While you're waiting, do what waiters do. Mm -hmm. All right? Just serve. Mm -hmm. Wow. I love that. Serve the Lord. <laughs> you know, answer to purpose. That is what the mm. meaning of waiting means. Answer mm -hmm. to purpose. Find your purpose in Christ. And start focusing your energy on that. Focus wow. your energy on that. Defend what is left. Mm. Now, if you have children out of that relationship, thank God and then defend what is left. Don't let the rest die. Don't hmm. let it slip out of your hands. Wow. Defend what is left and then mm -hmm. develop yourself. You know, wow. just a few. Thank develop, you. Develop, keep developing yourself. Upgrade. Mm -hmm. Upgrade. You know, thank you. Look out for what you can do that can help you to get back on your feet. Mm. If you have Andy work, get in it. You're a woman. You're a lioness. And what lioness do? They are the ones that hunt. In fact, mm. when I read about lioness, do you know they don't hunt during the day as much as they hunt during the night? They mm. are night hunters. You know, because wow. they've, got, they've got sight. They've got, mm. you know, a, a, a wide range of sight. They, their eyes are sharp you know so i will Thank say you. to you that i stand up for you i know what your pain is because you're Thank you. it, it, it's all you know it's a failed whatever it is you know Thank and you. please thank you very much you. you're welcome thank you somebody is just buttressing what you said Oluwabumi is saying defend what is left and she put a sign behind it 
that that is deep you know i love that when you said that defend what is left some people will not care what is what has come out of that relationship some people don't even want to have anything to do with with what has come out of that relationship some people want things that have come out of that relationship to die but this afternoon lioness is telling us that we should defend what is left thank you very much a sister ejiro sister ejiro is saying serve with all your art be very intentional in your serving there are there are there may be mockers but they are mocking you to your greatness and testimony thank you very much for that mm -hmm. you know that is very very important you know i say this to people people who always talk that's the way i see them that's their job is only even the people that are in the grave that they're dead people talk about them so you are alive you're breathing you're doing something great people would definitely talk so do you know what i do i do things so that i get people talking because we have to get them busy they have to keep talking so please do not mind them get focused be focused thank you very much for that sister Angelo. right i want to know your opinion about this and i really want you to help us clear the air we are closing this show and i want us to close it on a very strong note some people are of the opinion that a divorced woman is a failure and may not be able to manage success or succeed in life what do you think about this opinion lioness oh that is a lie pure lie from the pit of hell that is a lie lies that the devil tell mm -hmm. us so that we can quit so that we won't win mm. so that it will be over mm. and quitters don't win mm. winners they will never mm -hmm. quit it is not finished until mm. when you win it is not it is not over until when you win so as a woman because you have a failed marriage you are divorced what makes you feel special um, what makes a woman who is still in a marriage special than somebody who is divorced no we are all special we are mm -hmm. all children of god we are all daughters of the most high god so yes but because as a woman because we are holistic in nature and because what affects our relationship you know affects virtually every area of life so when a woman you know fails in their marriage or their relationship mm -hmm. they feel failure all around but i'm telling you it's a lie don't allow the devil to use that to bring you down. Mm -hmm. Don't allow the enemy to cripple you because of that. Mm -hmm. Now, you need to stand up and say, you know what? I might have received the blow from that. But what we do, we get up and we move. That's it. We move. So you get up. You strengthen your limbs. Strengthen mm -hmm. things that are red. The rest of the things that is left get up again and move on the wow. reason is because your daddy the quitter your daddy is a winner who is our wow daddy? <laughs> i love that daddy i hope people. somebody is going to is, is going to comment on that daddy our daddy is a winner is not a quitter are you going to type that so that somebody can see that next time i know when i leave if i leave lioness she can just turn into preaching from that i know that is a strength that is just one thing she cannot stand you know and i believe that you you are not a failure i don't even believe there should be any word such as failure it is from the pit of hell please delete it from your dictionary if you've done something wrong or you didn't get something right the first time it's just god showing you or telling you there are better ways to do it there are other ways to do it you don't have to do it in that particular way you've done it in the first plan in the first time mm -hmm. so please don't use the word fail or failure to yourself or to anyone around you it is not a good word and i don't use it to anybody and don't 
refer people to that or categorize some set of people as that. Thank you very much, Olubumi. Olubumi has helped us to echo that. Our father is a winner and I want you to leave with that. Lioness, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you just want to leave with our viewers this afternoon because we are going out, out you know, we are really running out of time. I know we're running out of time, but you know, I just want to say to women, we are stronger than we think we are. We are capable. We can do more with our life when we work together, mm -hmm. when we support mm -hmm. ourselves, when we don't look down on ourselves. See, let me tell you something. Have you have you looked at the sky? I used to look I used to look at the sky a lot. In actual fact, I used to say that if the sky was stable, I would have drawn, you know, I should have drawn that sky. Now have you looked at the sky and see how massive it is? That is how great the goodness and the grace of God is. Now, if birds wow. if they touch, it's probably by mistake. So we can all fly in the sky of daddy's goodness and grace you know we can all fly there without mm -hmm. clashing without you know without badging on one another we can all do what god wants us to do we are strong because our father in heaven is strong now mm -hmm. if you're a wife out there your marriage is okay thank god and hold on to that marriage now if you are a single mother you know just stand with daddy, you know, fall into the love, you know, fall into the hands of daddy's love, like fall there and let him <laughs> keep you there. And everything he has for you will come to pass. For you, your whose marriage is on the verge of breaking. I'm just praying that the Lord will restore that home. He will not Amen. break. Amen. He will not fail in Amen. Jesus' name. And I'm, Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm praying for single sisters that the mm -hmm. Lord will bless you with mm -hmm. the man that he has for you. See, daddy mm -hmm. has princes and sons. Mm -hmm. All right? He has mm -hmm. princes and sons. So, yeah. you know, and he wants you to, you know, daddy will only give his princes to his princesses. Daddy yes. will only give his sons to his daughters. So, mm -hmm. be daddy's daughter and he will give you the best. Wait on him. And while mm -hmm. you're waiting, while you're waiting, serve. Mm -hmm. serve. Do what the waiters do. Thank you. Serve. Thank you very much today. Lioness, I have been blessed. And I know our viewers have been blessed. If you have been blessed by what Lioness shared this afternoon, I just wanted to put a word in the comment section and let me know how or which area you've been blessed, you know, from what she has shared this afternoon. Thank you very much. Show us some love, some heart sign. Let us, let her know that you are hugging her, you feel her and you love her and you're showering her with love. Thank you. You know, I've been blessed, you know, after listening to our sister carefully. And these are the areas that I just want to echo. I, I know she's mentioned some of it. And this woman, she's really in the spirit because she went into my script and just saw all the things I've, I've jotted that and just echoed them. But I would just echo it, you know, just in closing. Please, please, please know who you are and who's you are before you say, yes, I do. Please do not discard, discard your good values of bringing Christian values because of marriage. Build on those things that your parents have instilled in you, your pastors, your brothers, your sisters, those things that they've instilled in you, build upon them and don't just throw them away just because you fell in love. Please do not do that. Check, check and recheck before you say yes i do please check again check and check and check go through parental if is if it's possible if the parent both parents are still alive please go through them don't say i just want to do my thing my way without my parental 
consent or parental involvement please don't do that and if they are different there are different christian counselings out there please engage in one pre-cant pre-wedding counseling and even post wedding counseling do all this and you will be well informed that is all what that is and go through the right channel don't do any backdoor wedding with anybody no go through the right channel if they cannot go to the right channel maybe they're not the prince for you wait for your prince your prince that will go through the right channel will actually come we have come to the end of today's show and i just want you to know that if at all you have been affected by anything at all that we have shared here today please get in touch with lioness and you can also get in touch with me we are a charity organization based in manchester beautiful mind and we in our counseling in our charity we we believe in god we will pray with you we will counsel you we will coach you and if we cannot do any of these we will signpost you to other agencies that we know that can support you please we do not want anybody to suffer in silence because help is readily available please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as you are watching us live now on youtube please because once we drop we drop different videos and once we drop them we want you to be the first person to know so press that you know notification button so you can be aware when our videos are out and please 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 join us next week we know i love you and please in the name of god go and check out wink store online that is www.wingstore.co.uk don't let christmas meet you by surprise be intentional about this christmas be intentional about what you want to wear what you want to give people and go and other right now go on that website and let me know what you think about it www.wingstore.co.uk thank you thank you very much i always say this and i'm not ashamed to repeat myself without you there wouldn't be beautiful mine thank you for staying tuned thank you for having a date with us i want to say thank you to lioness help us to say thank you to lioness for coming to bless us this afternoon we've been blessed by what you have shared today and i want to say a big thank you to my producer ayd ambassador for putting all of this together i really really do appreciate you thank you beam tv thank you peace and joy radio until next week when i will be bringing another informative and educative topic your way i remain your host Ade Inka Ade Omi. bye for now